certain time of the day, the shadow is falling. Yellow certain time, I don't know what they A deus star of the girl, there it is, there it is, shadow. And it's falling. So this is height of the pillar. I will give one meter stick. With the above this stick, we have to measure the shadow and find the height of the pillar. How? It is called. How means? To keep the one meter stick, one meter stick now we are going to add one meter stick. Parallel, parallel and we will get the shadow of this stick. It may be double or twice what it may be. Akasmat one meter stick can also be two meter a shadow also. Two meter per meter more than two point five or two point three or whatever it may be. Then with the help of this stick, you measure the shadow of the pillar. For example, it is eight point four meter. It appears the shadow. Then you can tell the relation now. Okay, one is to two. So height one is there, shadow double is there. Other than that, this shadow is going to be eight point four one is there. So the height of the pillar is half of this. So it's going to be four point two. It's very simple. So this concept was explained by a famous Greek mathematician called. Thales, a famous Greek mathematician called Thales. He was Thales, a Greek mathematician on 547 BC. He was used to draw the line segments, geometrical concepts, and theorems. And his name, a famous theorem, is there. Today we will discuss that theorem also. So he was a Thales. He used to find the height of the pyramids. By using the shadows in Egypt, you know pyramids. That the shadow will tell us. A shadow will tell us. At least the height is there, right? Yes, my dear. So this was the important thing. So today we are going to discuss. So you can observe one by two is equal to four point two by eight point four. See one side, two side. If two ratios are equal, is called as what means? Proportional. It's called what? Proportion. So this starts a theorem. The theorem is called as basic proportionality theorem. In the short form, it is also called BPT. And it is also called Thales theorem. Basic proportionality theorem, Thales theorem, and we will take the steps. How it explains? See here. I mean, you understand? We can observe this straw here. So this is length five centimeter. Five centimeter take the length of the straw. You can take a mobile touch. You can close. You just give a mobile touch. You put a wooden sheet. You will find find a path of shadow. Here, this is the light. See, we are getting the shadow. Can observe a shadow, friends? Yes. With the help of this scale, you measure the length of the shadow at one point. See, like this. At certain distance, don't shake it. Or don't keep it on the table and do it. Table will be more. Correct. That's what I am saying. Same with this. See. Here, we are getting the length. Six point five, or if you keep like this, you get extent. You keep it one position, and mark down the length of the shadow. Similarly, you take another straw, which is doubled. So this is five centimeter distance, maybe. and you keep it here, and observe the parallel to each other, and keep it here. See now, you can observe now. Here shadow is length like this, and length also increase number. See here, number. So this concept is called what means proportional or proportionality. These two ratios are equal. Based on this, he formulated the theorem. That is what basic proportionality. So what this statement tells about that? Before that, first you observe this. Oh, 
points. It's the first point of this. Students. What is this? Problem line. Yes. Good. I will draw this straight diagram line. First straight line. Next. See, one triangle is there. Can observe this figure now, students. Triangle is there, yes. And the straight line is passing through the triangle. Okay, I put a condition. This line is parallel to any one side of the triangle. Here there are how many sides? Three sides. A, B, C. And this line is there, no? Right line. This should be parallel to any one side. I will observe a triangle BC here. Draw a parallel. Yes, I draw a parallel line. To which side? BC. You have a parallel from what is the name? BC ground. So, you have to observe this figure. First, you observe this figure. Next, what happens? After drawing A, we look after that. We can see here, intersects two distinct points. See, after drawing, it intersects other two sides. These are the other two sides. Intersect two distinct points. I will mark it as D and E. Ah, here two points are now. Line drama are going to cut out there. Ah, here two points are now. D and D are the mark one. Okay. Next, drama are going to be other two sides, see, you know, AD. AD divides into two portions. You can two portions. AD, D. Next one is AE, EC. You measure the length. The length is a measure model. And verify and observe what happens. That is it. So, for that, E and other data, no. A simple activity, another one. Same what you see here. I will draw a triangle here. Also, the triangle A, B, C. Same. One thing. Here, I will take a measurement of the moment. Let this be 5 cm. A, B, C. See, 5. Now it is double C. A, C is double means. I like this plan. Now we mark a point at 2 cm here. So that is B. It divides 2. The remaining portion is what? 3. Now the question is I will draw parallel from D. A straight line is drawn like this. Is it parallel? Is it this line is parallel to BC? No. The line is not parallel to DC. So, you draw a line parallel to BC. How? See, this is line not parallel. X, Y, R, D, E. So, we draw a line parallel to BC. Now, we observe this D, E parallel to BC. After drawing the parallel, parallel draw mod all the way here. Here A is what 2? I told this is 2. The remaining portion is what 3. And you observe the other two sides. A is 2. See here it also doubles. That becomes how much? 4. Here the remaining portion is 3. Here this also doubled. See? It becomes how much? 6. You observe the other two sides. 2 by 3 is equal to what? 4 by 6. See 2 2 is a 2 3 is a 4. Divides into what? Same ratio. It is also called what? Proportion. So, this is a proof of basic component here for your practice in the Not a key on the Now, next class we will go to study about proof of that. So, this activity whether what we are explaining two or three different activities. Yes, yes. I think students, we are clear. This concept. One thing I will repeat. We should know the uh, how to write the statement. See first.
attributes, no if likes. What is this? Tell you what it is. Like, yes. What about this like? Is not what? Parallel to one set of it. Need not to buy it. Okay. Next. After drawing, you can decide the two points D and E. Then what about the other two sides? Same. The line divide the other two sides. The same ratio that is called. Okay. So that's why then you can tell line A D Y D B is equal to another side of the A E Y. Take on this. So write a question and take on this is important. So this is the diagram have you can write down any bit. If in exam they lost any type of diagram, you are not able to write this all. For example, one question. So we write diagram like this. A B C M L. And M L is parallel to what? A B. If you don't like parallel then M L and A B parallel. If you D E B C parallel. In the correct formula, A D by D B is equal to A E by D C. Fill in very quickly. First, write down the parallel lines. A M parallel to A B. Then C N by C N by N B is equal to the remaining side of the third side. C M by N B. And what happens? The sides are proportional. So once again, I will repeat the statement. By drawing, writing the diagram, you remember. First, you write like parallel like this: straight line, a triangle on one side, two distinct points, and divides. This is the cube. Now, it is if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. If a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersects. Other two sides, other two sides at distinct points. Then a line divides other two sides in the same ratio. This is called proportion. I'll write once again. This is a problem. See, this is an activity diagrams. So an exam they will give the question like this. Eight. Basic proportionality theorem. Sometimes the last question like this: take and enunciate a really big or big big. It is also called what? Bayes theorem. Very simple. See here. How to write the definition? First, state the definition. One more question for examination. State basic proportion. Yes. So first, you remember the diagram of x line. I get it right away. First, you know, straight line. First, diagram of the diagram of the problem. Easy, easy to understand. First, triangle. What is the triangle? A B C. Now draw a parallel line D E parallel to B C. We should write down the parallel mark like this. See, hmm. start this statement. If a line drawn, so this word is important. Parallel to one. Side of triangle intersects other two sides. Intersect other two sides at distinct points. Other two sides at distinct points, which divides. Other two sides in 
Save. Now you see. So this is the statement. Repeat. If a line drawn parallel to the triangle intersects other two sides at distinct points, then the line divides with divides other two sides in the same ratio. R it is also called proportional. See first line diagram. Make sure write like this. This is the initiation in triangle ABC, which is parallel to DE parallel to BC. Then AD C by DB is equal to other two sides AE by BC. State means state is enough. Initiate means when write on the diagram and form up. Sometimes they will ask only initiate basic proportion to theorem. Then at that time you should write diagram and formula. So actually statement will be given. So very simple, see observe the diagram and along with statement. See like this first you write if a line inculcate, if a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle. Then the line divides other two sides in the same ratio. Now you should do it over what is the domain means. So this is basic proportionality. If a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle intersects other two sides at this point, we divide the other two sides in the same ratio. That is proportional. Very simple. Here can I tell anybody how to write the formula means very simple. R Y to this side by Y. That is over equal to Rx by Bx. And for this, C, M, L. So this is a triangle. Here, B, D. Parallel to C. Here B D parallel to C. How write it? B B D. Yes. A M P by what? P L is equal to M P by P C. So this is what. Another one. Single question also. Single question here. We can write a graph like this. In triangle PQR, ML parallel to QR. If PM by MQ, see here, is equal to PN by dash. So which side we are going to flap here? We want to think about that. According to PPD. That is according to basic proportion. So, which is the remaining side P and Y? I'm going to fill up what? A now. Yeah. I'll give one multiple choice after that. So, here our board is there. Next class, we have next time, converse and parallel also today. Next class, we are going to prove the proof by PR methods. Now, see, you can observe here ABC is a triangle. Here, P and points are the distinct points. See, drawn parallel. After drawing the parallel, observe the two sides AD by DB, what we discussed here, back with an AE by DC. So, the seat is called Taylor's theorem, basic proportional theorem on BP. If a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle to intersect other two sides in distinct points, then other two sides are divided by dash, same ratio or proportion. So we can do the activity like this also at home. One by one, we should remember the points here. This is a triangle in this. After that, a line is drawn to one side of a triangle. Then after that, see here. A triangle is formed. Sides A and B. 